it's not just about the crypto and digital asset market. It's what you can actually do with those assets. And the things that a lot of people really look forward to <laughs> is, of course, housing. So I need to bring in somebody who could help me out. And uh, Galliano, uh, thanks for coming on from Boxable. I appreciate it. Hey there. Thank you so much for having me on. And yeah, my name is uh, Galliano. And uh, here at our factory in Las Vegas, the company is called Boxable. Uh, and we are trying to mass produce a, a new type of housing, hoping to make housing more affordable for everyone. Yeah. So listen, I, I stumbled across your website. I think it was, uh, the first thing was it was an Elon Musk type of inf information and that, that came out. Then I had a friend who was doing tiny homes and of course we're, I mean, my wife ran a real estate. So it was kind of interesting. I didn't know your history into Bitcoin and crypto and the payments that you're actually uh, are taking. So I want to break this down real simple for everybody who does not know you. So first things first, just tell us a little about, about your Bitcoin history because you've been in this longer than I have. And also, why did you guys create Boxable? What's the availability? And then talk about crypto payments. And then everybody's favorite subject, we'll talk about governments and the different hurdles you have to go through as they don't even follow their own rules. And lastly, we'll talk about next steps and what this all is. So first things first, Bitcoin. How'd you get into it? What's your history? Because I think it's kind of interesting of where people have come from. Yeah, you know, uh, big fan of uh, Bitcoin, have been in it for about 10 years now. I got started back in 2013, kind yeah. of uh, stumbled across it, started researching it, uh, got more and more interested, was very sold on the idea, and then ended up starting a Bitcoin exchange business, which grew uh, very quickly. This was like the Wild West, early days, um, complete, like every crazy dramatic thing you could imagine was was happening. And, uh, you know, ran that business for a few years, uh, actually took all the profits I made from the business and bought Bitcoin with them. So I was like, I was all in uh, back in the day, uh, basically had, you know, credit card debt, no, no USD, just, just only Bitcoin. <laughs> That's crazy. So then you did and then you did ATMs. You also did. I don't, did you do mining? Because I know, like you said that that before it was I think it was your 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 brother that got into it first, then you kind of said, hey, we should probably look into this. Yeah, my, my little brother actually bought a Bitcoin miner and mm -hmm. he showed it to me. Uh, and that was how I kind of learned about and got interested. Uh, and then I actually went ahead, I, bu I built my own uh, miners as well. And then eventually stumbled into the opportunity for the exchange business to basically exchange US dollars into, into Bitcoin. And, you know, that really took off and, uh, you know, it's been a, a great wild ride ever since then. 2013, those were good times to get in. I wish I would have been there. All right, so that would be a little bit of your history. Now let's talk about the company itself. Why Boxable? And talk about the availability because you guys have been around, you started up in 2018. It's been some time and I can see that uh, there's a lot of uh, manufacturing construction going on in behind, but what's the availability? And let's talk about payments because that's what was most shocking to me. Yeah, you know, so housing is a big problem, both in the US and around the world, you know, not being available, affordable, uh, you know, everyone knows about about the housing issues that are going on. So we kind of set out to fix this problem. And our thought process on it was that housing is really one of the last big modern products that's not mass produced in, in a factory. Everything else, whether it's your, your iPhone or your car or your sneaker, your television is built on an assembly line. And the result is those products are cost effective and you know uh, they're available uh, to be purchased. Uh, but housing is still being built kind of in an old school way by mm -hmm. hand, one at a time, on site, uh, skilled trades, extremely inefficient way of, of doing things. So when we looked at this problem and said, why is that happening? We realized simply, uh, you know, the biggest issue was just houses are really big. Uh, so they're too big to build in a factory and ship out to site. And that's why they never transitioned onto an assembly line. Uh, and, and if we can get them onto an assembly line, we're going to be able to push the price down to the point um, where we can have an absolutely massive impact. So the first innovation, if anyone goes over to boxable.com and sees the product, is they'll see that the house actually folds up. So we have uh, our first product, the Casita that you're showing there. It's a little small studio apartment. It's uh, about 20 feet by 20 feet. And it folds up from 20 feet down to eight and a half feet. 
And that's super important because that enables us to ship the product and we're still finishing everything. So electric, plumbing, kitchen, bathroom, uh, flooring, walls, that is still all done in the factory, but it folds up for shipping. And because we can now ship cost effectively, that's going to allow us to scale up manufacturing so that, you know, you can see our, our factory here behind us. Um, and that in the future, we could scale up manufacturing to the point where you have something that looks like an automobile plant because car factories are really the best example of modern mass production, huge assembly lines, uh, robotics, automation, all that great stuff. You know, a Ford factory or a Tesla factory is putting out one car per minute or less off the assembly line. Mm -hmm. There's no reason we can't do that with housing now that we've fixed the shipping problem. So that's what we're trying to do here. It's, it's really a really big deal with a really big upside and, uh, you know, for us to, to bring the cost of housing down through mass production. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's, uh, that's definitely right now it's uh, it's perfect timing because it's not like that the uh, price of housing is uh, dropping rapidly. It's only increasing. So I can see exactly where this could actually fit in. Talk to us real quick about, because I saw this on actually it was your, your Twitter account. And I took a look and I saw that uh, there was a Dogecoin icon there. And I said, Hey, that's interesting. I reached out and I just put a tweet and go, Hey, you guys accepting Dogecoin as a joke? And you said, yeah, you said, yeah. And I said, well, we got to talk. So talk to us real quick about crypto payments. I know the casita is rolling out and I think you guys have pretty much sold that out, but I know as time goes on, how does this work? Crypto payments. Yeah. You know, of course, uh, huge fan of, of, uh, crypto and, uh, absolutely, uh, would accept payment in, in uh, most cryptos. Uh, we are actually doing kind of a revamp of our website once we launch the kind of retail facing uh, sales funnel where people can actually go in and complete a purchase. Uh, so that will have, you know, the crypto integrated into the website. So uh, pretty cool and uh, love Dogecoin. Yeah, it's one of my favorite holds, as a matter of fact. It was a massive, massive run up for me in 2020, 2021. All right, so we talk about the good stuff. Let's talk about the bad, the government. The problem is, and I'm not going to go into this and beat it, beat it down with the dead, like a dead horse, but uh, on this channel, we're not big fans of government ourselves. And there's a reason why we're into crypto, but your product goes beyond that. What's happening with zoning laws and regulations and things that you've come across? And how did you get across or get over that, you know, cross that, uh, that bridge with the government, especially military? Yeah, the, the government and uh, regulation are a, a huge problem. Uh, hurts everyone in the country on, on many fronts. Um, of course, you know, uh, Bitcoin is kind of an, an anti-government thing. And uh, that's one of the reasons I was I was drawn to it. And I have kind of a track record of, of uh, fighting with the government uh, on many different battles throughout my, my career. Um, <laughs> so uh, this is just another example of that. And really, uh, one of the main reasons that housing is expensive is the government um, they are strangling it to death at every level state local federal level uh, with massive rule books massive bureaucracy massive fees and just a huge amount of just complete and utter horseshit that provides no value to no real value to anyone it's just like bureaucracy for the sake of bureaucracy so um, that's one of our big challenges and also one of our big opportunities because although we have new manufacturing methods and new building materials and all that um, that are going to help us bring the price down, the other half of the battle is actually reforming these regulations. And now that we have, you know, kind of a, a regulatory regime that was built for site construction, it takes into mind the way we build houses now on site one at a time, it doesn't really fit with mass producing them in a big centralized factory like this. So uh, we're, we're already, um, you know, on many fronts, uh, pushing back against this, uh, writing new rules, um, uh, pushing, pushing here and there to find soft spots. And uh, I, I expect that uh, in the future, a big portion of the cost savings that we think are company and product can achieve is going to come through the regulatory reforms that we'll eventually be able to achieve. Gotcha. You know, this, this, I, I just thought about this. It brings up a question, which is this, 
let's say Joe Blow, Jane Doe, they come to the website, they go, you know what? I want to get a casita. They get a casita, they pay with Dogecoin. Dogecoin, I mean, the actual casita gets actually delivered to their property and land. Is there a way for you guys to like help with the zoning laws? Because like in a lot of places, if I buy land, right, first has to be zoned correctly, residential versus commercial or something like that. Then of course, when, when this gets in there, I would assume it's, I would need to have it leveled, flattened, and maybe a base, maybe uh, something that would actually keep everything uh, stable and the plumbing also as well. Is there something that you guys set up and go, okay, if this happens, this is what you're going to need and go from there? Yeah, we're going to have a, a bunch of different resources on that front for all the different things that need to be done. One of the big ones will be our um, partner directory that we're setting up. So yeah. basically a list of companies that want to want to work with us. So in most cases, you're going to need a general contractor Excellent. who's going to handle the utilities trenching, the foundation, probably the permits, all that kind of stuff. So we're about to launch a little directory on our site where our customers can go and talk to contractors in their area and maybe get a bid on the on the job that they want to do. And then they'll be able to connect the dots between us, the, the manufacturer of this, and then the final um, turnkey move-in ready product that they, they're going to end up with. Ladies and gentlemen, that is called cost savings and that's called job creation. Excellent. Yaliano, this will lead me to our last part, the next steps. What is everything moving forward? I mean, you just talked about putting everything as far as resources. Where do you guys see yourself? Because the casita is a very great idea, but I've seen on your website a couple like uh, two-story homes and then these little different modules that can stick together. Anything going on with like larger entities of which you guys want to build? Yeah, so uh, it's important to note that we're not really a, kind of a tiny house company. Mm -hmm. um, there's a grand vision here, which is for a system of room modules that stack and connect and are customized to build most building types, like a single family or an apartment building, uh, all, all different types of buildings with our system. What we have now is the smallest room module in that system that we're starting with just to kind of get our foot in the door. And we've been lucky enough to get huge amount of interest in, in that. So um, soon we'll be launching um, configurations where you stick you know, a few boxes together to get maybe it's a two bedroom house and then we'll keep, uh, you know, growing it for there. And then in general for the company, uh, things are moving really quickly. We've been in production now, you know, just, just over two years getting things figured out. We've built over 500 houses. We now have actually three factory buildings and we're putting in about $20 million in new equipment here. And that's going to help automate the process, bring the costs down, quality up, allow us to produce more, so really exciting things, crazy amount of, of growth happening. You know, pretty much every day here, I'm like standing wondering like, wow, how did we get here so fast? Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, it's interesting where things are going. And I got to tell you, it's a good idea just to keep it uh, streamlined. Because if you, if you try to create everything for everybody, you're selling to nobody. So I can see that. So everybody, yep. uh, there are links in the description uh, for the website itself. Also, there is their Twitter account, and I'll link all the different socials. But uh, Eliano, great. Thanks for coming on. Any last words of wisdom for the Bitcoin and crypto holders since you've been around since 2013? You know, I'm a big believer in uh, these um, pump cycles happen as a result of the, the happening, the reduction in, in supply. Um, mm -hmm kind of seems like pretty obvious when you when you look at it so uh i'm really excited for this next next happening uh coming up and uh you know i'm uh uh definitely you know as always a, a big believer in crypto yeah couldn't have said it better myself all right everybody so links in the description galliano thanks again for coming on and uh that is it for we'll have you back as things roll out and uh great stuff thanks man thank you appreciate it